Welcome to a video on the CAPME online peer assessment tool. This is a guide for instructors and faculty users. In this video, I'll go through the steps in obtaining a new CAPME faculty account, setting up a class, creating a peer assessment survey, tracking and releasing the results, extracting the survey raw data, processing the survey raw data, and finally, some resources and training materials. Go to info.catme.org and request a faculty account. This is on the top right. Enter the appropriate details and submit the request. You should hear back from CATME within a few days. Once you have received a faculty account from CATME, you should log into the system. Your instructor summary page will initially be empty. There is a help link that provides system help in any of the functions displayed on the current page. Before a peer assessment survey can be set up, you must first add a class. Click Add New Class. Follow the process to creating a class. Click Next to continue. You can navigate between each step using the progress bar on the top. Firstly, enter some basic information about the class. The term and type of class are generally not important details. Instructors can request that students complete a rater calibration. The calibration can help students give more accurate assessments by allowing them to evaluate a hypothetical team. Students are then given feedback on the calibration ratings. It's recommended that students complete the calibration at least once. You may also choose to display extra messages to the students that indicate exceptional conditions, if applicable, with comments from the CATME system. Click Help at the top of the page for full descriptions of what these exceptional conditions are. Click Done to be taken back to the Class Editor page. You can now progress to creating a peer assessment survey. In the Class Editor page, click Add Activity to begin the setup of a peer assessment survey. Follow the process to creating a peer assessment survey. Click Next to continue. There are two activity types. Click Help at the top of the page for descriptions of each activity type. At Monash University, teams are selected manually and uploaded to CATME, so we use CATME bars as opposed to TeamMaker. With CATME bars selected, you should enter a name for the survey. It's possible to backdate the start date so that CATME will send survey invitations to students immediately upon the completion of a survey setup. The start and end dates that you select here will determine when CATME sends out automated invitation and reminder emails to the students. You can adjust these from the Activity Editor page later on. Instructors can choose the categories on which students base their peer assessment. Some of the recommended categories are contributing to work, interacting with teammates, keeping the team on track, expecting quality, having knowledge and skills, and team satisfaction. Once you've selected your categories, you can now add a list of students. If there are pre-existing surveys for this class, the instructor may choose to import a previous list of students and teams into a new survey. If this is the first survey for a class, the instructor must upload a .csv Excel file. Click Choose File and Import, then Next to continue. Here is an example of a list of students sorted into teams. An uploaded list must be in .csv format and include the first name, the last name, the emails, the student ID, and the team ID. The instructor can choose to allow other faculty members and instructors customizable access to the survey information. This is a function called faculty delegation. Additional instructors must also be registered users of a CATME faculty account. If you choose to delegate faculty, you are provided with a list of all CATME faculty users with those within your institution listed first. Click next to continue and finish the setup. Follow the prompts to complete the setup and be taken back to the activity editor. The activity editor is a summary of the peer assessment survey you have just created. Here you may edit the activity name, the start and end dates, the categories, delegate faculty, and the student list. There is a function called edit activity intro. This allows the instructor to create a custom introduction message shown to students at the start of their peer assessment surveys. Once you have finished editing your survey, click save and return. You are taken back to the class editor. Here, the instructor can track the percentage of students that have completed the peer assessment survey. This is an example of a summary page with several classes and activities. The question manager is used in CATME's TeamMaker team selection tool and is irrelevant if you have used CATME bars. The red underlined writing on the left indicates whether you have not added any students or not added any activities. You can send reminder emails to your students by clicking Send Reminder next to the survey. You can view the results live as they come in by clicking View Results. You can track the survey completion rates under the Percentage Completion column. 
Students may continue to complete surveys even after the survey end date. However, once the instructor has released the results, no more can be accepted. Once the survey has ended, the instructor is able to release the results in the results page. Click view results. In the results summary report, the instructor can release the results of a survey that has just ended by clicking release at the bottom of the report. The instructor may also select who the results should be released to. The help link at the top of the page provides a description of the data columns. In the results summary report, the instructor can view the raw data. The raw data view is more compact. A legend and comments from each student are also shown on the same page. The instructor can also export the raw data to an Excel file for storage or data analysis. The instructor may choose to process the raw data to obtain useful information or to see whether further actions are needed after the peer assessment is complete. Examples of useful actions from data analysis may include applying a peer assessment factor or adjustment factor to scale the student's individual mark or the facilitation of conflict resolution within teams. This is an example of a data processing spreadsheet. Raw data is copied and pasted into a template spreadsheet. This is useful as it condenses CatMe's raw data into a easily readable format. We have now completed the steps in creating a peer assessment survey, monitoring the results, releasing and processing the results. Additional resources and training materials for the instructor's use of CatMe is available to interested users. These resources and training materials were created and compiled by members of the Department of Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering at Monash University. Please contact Dr. Scott Wordley at Monash University if you would like a copy of these materials. Thank you for watching and good luck.